all right what's up guys it's your boy Gucci visuals in the building and uh we're going to be working on how to retouch this picture full retouching everything we're going to whiten the eyes we're going to do our frequency separation we're going to do our dodge and bone and we're going to do our sharpening and then we're going to change we're going to learn how to change the background color so stick right there and uh, watch how we are going to transform this picture from what it is now to something like this from this to this let's dive right in all right guys welcome back uh so this is our background layer we're going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl j and we're going to zoom in select our healing brush and we we'll start healing the pimples the blemishes and the pimples and the blemishes and the pimples we're going to keep healing the blemishes and all that okay okay there's not much there's not much to heal here there's not much to heal so that's that about that okay let's release our brush all right so when we've done that we duplicate our layer again by pressing ctrl g twice so we have this layer we disable the first layer select the second layer go to filter go to noise go to dust and scratches and set our radius to the point where our skin is smooth to an extent let's say it's in press ok then we select our first the first background copy tree we enable it go to image go to apply image from the merged we select background copy 2 look for background copy 2 look at it here we select it and instead of multiply we select on subtract and then we click ok then we change the blending mode to linear lights select both of them we we'll group it and then we we'll go to the second layer select our lasso tool and then we we'll make a selection on her face after we've done that we we'll go to another side here make another selection here Then we come to this side, we we'll make another selection. Then to the jaw, we'll make another selection. Then we we'll make another selection on her nose. And then we we'll go to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. We'll adjust our edges. So when you zoom in, you can see the difference is here. You don't want to go too high to avoid getting something like this. So uh, let's say um, 20, 20, 23 should be okay. You select it. Then you come down here, make your selection too. Uh, if you want to add another selection just hold shift to adjust the selection a little bit further if you want to remove it hold alternate and windows select here too and uh, go to filter blow gaussian blow 23 or you can reduce it if you if you like but let's leave it as 22 
does it so and after we've done that we click uh, we select we do we click on shift control alternate e to create a new layer go to filter go to order go to high pass select our radius to 0.9 or 1 depending change our blending mode to linear light zoom in a bit select our mixer brush we select our mixer brush and set our wetness to 7 or so and okay we'll go back to our texture layer and then we'll start brushing make sure not to brush too much to avoid losing all the skin texture remember don't brush too much to avoid losing all the skin texture so just brush a little bit 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 don't overdo then you go to our skin still brush a little bit brush around the neck and there you go so after doing that there you have it skin is looking crisp and clear so to bring out the color make the color pop we select a selective color we'll go to black we we'll increase it a bit we'll go to our neutrals we we'll increase it a bit and then we can work on our red that's to you know set the color popping adjust our bar to an extent and there you have it you can also increase the vibrance a bit and um, okay then we'll go to we'll, we'll try and whiten the eyes now so we we'll use our retouching academy that's if you don't want to use uh, your curve tools you can use the retouching academy uh we we'll select our magic eyes here this is for us to whiten our eyes select magic eye open our open the group click on match uh, clean eyes zoom in select your brush and make sure your opacity is 100 then you start painting paint the eyes to just whiten it a little bit whiten it a little bit and um, then to do our dodge and bone select our retouching academy go to dodge and bone for curves so this is uh, the black and layer black and white layer which is going to enable you to do your dodge and bone well and uh, so we unselect it you can still work with it if you like it doesn't make any difference so we'll go to our bond our bond is meant to darken the uh, the shadows meant to work on the shadows our dodge is for our highlights so we select our brush reduce our opacity to maybe 13 or so and then we start painting paint the shadow areas to the nose we paint through the nose the side of the nose Let's zoom out paint around here 
you don't want to add so much just little 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 paintings little very little painting so we select our dodge dodge is for our highlighted areas which is our forehead we want to make it glow so if you're not seeing more, much result you can increase your opacity and continue we paint through the jaw lines will come to her shoulder paint around there not so much just little 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 paintings let's zoom into the nose line we decrease it to paint through here we'll paint through there we we'll zoom out and this is what we have these are before and these are after for dodging and burning it just helps to define the picture to an extent so after we've done that we we'll click and um, shift ctrl alternate e to create a new layer okay let's let's group this layer first uh okay press them um, ctrl g to group it so after we have grouped the layer let's see our before this is our before this is our after this is our before and this is our after you can see the difference and so let's change our background we shift ctrl alternate e to create a new new very much new layer then we select our quick selection tool select our model after we selected it we we'll further it you can choose one you can choose two depending let's leave it as one then we invert select inverse and then after we've done that we'll go here and click on solid color then we we'll make choose we'll make we we'll choose the color we want our background to be you can choose to be red can choose to be any color you want so let's leave it as uh, this let's leave it at this color then we press ok then if you still want to do other changes like maybe change the the color of her hair you know if you still want to change the color of her hair you go to uh, I think it should be yellow or green if it's not let's find out okay it's yellow and um, we want to okay let's see let's see let's see let's see okay here I selected the yellow I selected the color of her hair and bring it back and then we can now change it to any color that we want it to be I want it to be this color green or you know we can leave it as let's leave it as let's leave it as green then that's it this before this the after another way of doing this let's say we don't select this another way of doing this is to let's delete this layer another way of doing this is to use your selection to select on the and the turban it's called turban right uh, make sure our selection is accurate select everything so we select <coughs> sorry <coughs> so we select everything okay so let's zoom out so like this we've selected everything there's the top one we'll still click on our solid color uh okay okay it's not going to work this time because um you know it's just going to be 
there you can choose red <clears throat> okay let's say we we'll choose green after we've chosen green we we'll press ok then we'll go to blending mode and change the blending mode you can change it to overlay or soft light or hard light you know i think vivid light is okay but it's too it's too harsh so we we'll leave it as soft light then you can click here again to change the color that you want so and that's that about that so let's um select all and group so this is our before this is our after this is our before and this is our after let's zoom in our before our after our before and our after so that's it about that that's the full tutorial on how to retouch your skin how to color grade using selective color how to change your background and how to whiten your eyes and how to sharpen your pictures so if you like this video don't forget to click like and um, subscribe for more of this peace